We're on, this, we're on the start of day 22. Uh, I guess I guess someone called the health inspector on this motel or something, but it was pretty good. I don't know. It was just a motel. No worse or no better than any other motel. Well, you can't hear it now with trucks going by, but there's birds. There's birds like whistling and singing. It sounds like spring. Only, uh, only 2,815 more miles to Los Angeles. I put on my poncho. Uh, still though, a really beautiful day. Uh, this camera never captures anything, but like, look at this. We got some rolling hills and then we got some higher hills up there. They're all changing color. There's red, there's green, there's yellow. Like, this is what, this is what it is. This is what it's like to feel alive. It's nice to be in a place in my life where I'm like, rain, sun, cold, heat. Yeah, I'll take it all. What is this? What is this? Who put this tank here? Who left their tank on the side of the road? One good thing about tanks is they are good for holding your camera like a tripod. See, look. It's like, it's a perfect tripod. They should, they should stop using tanks as uh, weapons of mass destruction and killing a lot of people and instead use them as tripods. Uh, I don't know what to say except that war, well, there's no reason we gotta do war. Look at all the good stuff we got out, out here. We got these nice trees. We got, look, we got this little cool flower. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Oh my God. Do you realize how cool this is? This little purple flower is growing. It, it's not afraid to live under the shadow of this tank. It's trying, it's gonna eventually someday, this purple flower is gonna grow so large, it's gonna defeat that tank. No, that tank has no chance against the purple flower. Like there's no way that purple flower, that, that tank will ever defeat the purple flower. Cause even if it does, there'll be always be more purple flowers and eventually there won't be tanks. So why even make tanks if purple flowers are just gonna eventually defeat them all? Like there's no reason to have tanks, none. And you wanna, like the only reason is like, cause you're afraid and you want to like not share. Like the only reason you have tanks is because people are afraid and they don't want to share. All right, keep building your tanks. Keep being fearful and greedy. Well, I don't know what kind of food they had in that field, but it was probably food. It was probably plants. I don't think. I don't think they harvested a bunch of cows. Yeah, it was definitely some plants. I know that. I don't know what else to say. I feel good today. I haven't even. I haven't really even eaten anything today. I feel. Yeah, I'm, walking barefoot has just become what I do. Like, this is my life. I'm walking barefoot across America. Oh, they, they buy and sell used and junk cars in New Jersey, too. I thought they only did that in Providence. Ah, oh, that house, that house needs help. What happened? What happened to that house? They need some help. Someone should do something. Someone do something. Hey, e Elon Musk, why, you should put some, some of your new solar panel uh, shingles on this house. You should fix it up. Oh, does anyone have Joe Biden's uh, Twitter password? Does anyone have Joe Biden's Twitter password? I got some tweets I want to send out. I was just walking and I was like, oh, there's something caught between my toes. And when I pulled it out, there was a little piece of glass. I can't remember who said it. It was either, either Eisenhower or Beyonce. But they said, yeah, the township, of, the township of Washington, New Jersey has some interesting trees. And they were right. They got some interesting trees here. So whoever said that, Beyonce or Eisenhower, yeah, they were right. It's too bad I'm walking barefoot across America because I would love to take that home and just put it in the corner and forget about it and never, and then eventually realize I don't need it and then leave it out on my sidewalk for someone else to take. That's what I really want to do with my life. National Novel Writing Month. I should be writing a novel right now. All right, I can do this. I'm gonna write a novel while we'll cross in America barefoot. This will be the most epic novel ever. Let's start. All right, here's my first line. Here's my first line of my novel, okay? The pink tree with graham cracker leaves was, lo was looking at the truck made from bubble gum and wheels. Bought a can of artichoke hearts. Um, Cause yeah, supposedly there's a uh, health food store a little while ways up the road, so. I just got this can of artichoke carts to hold me over until I get there. Well, the uh, health food store that I thought was in um, the down on Main Street here, I guess it moved. It moved to uh, it moved to like two miles away. So I guess I'll have to find something else to eat. We'll see. I just ate four bananas and two apples. I found a convenience store that had stuff, so I'm not gonna starve. I just bought uh, four four bananas and two apples and some almonds at this gas station, so I should be good. This corn, this corn field, this corn field is across from a divine prayer, a divine prayer center. I think if I wanted to do some divine praying, I would probably go to a, go to a corn field to do divine praying before I went to a, uh, went to a divine prayer center. But that's just me. Just out here walking barefoot across America. Oh, the name of that childcare center is called Half Pint. That's a good name for a childcare center. Half Pint's a really good name.
I should just sleep in this field tonight. Look at this. It's beautiful. There's a road that I was walking next to, but I came over here to see what was over here, and now I'm really happy I came over here. Wow, one of their reactions is, wow, I wish I could do what you're doing. But you can. Like right now, all I'm doing is just laying down on a, in a field next to the road. I mean, I guess, yeah, not everyone is walking across America, but that's just a narrative I've used to frame what I'm doing. I'm just be I'm being alive. I'm trying, every day I try my best to be as alive as I can. And me being alive, I've taken that and I've just framed it as, hey, I'm walking across America barefoot. But really, this is about me trying to be as, feel as alive as possible. Which really should be the goal of everyone's life. But, I don't know. I, want, I, found, I found this key. I wonder whose key it is. Everything you do with your life is both the most important thing to ever happen in the history of the world and the least important thing that's ever happened in the history of the world. And somewhere in the balance between those two things, you will exist!